loop line here. I want to go over the new social account scraper add-on that Scrapebox has released. Uh, it scrapes different social URLs like Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn and that sort of thing from web pages. So you can go to add-ons and show available add-ons. If you don't have it installed, you find it, you click on it, you click install add-on and you're done. And then go back to add-ons and go to social account scraper. Once it loads, you can see some basic things. Uh, it has a file option to just exit, some options for connections and timeouts. Um, pretty basic, you can leave it at default if you don't know what you need. Pages to crawl, we'll talk about that in a minute. And then proxy options, pretty basic, load them from file, load them from Scrapebox, and enable them. And we can see what it's gonna do is get these social profile URLs from the URLs that we load, and then we can load URLs from the harvester or from file. Now, and then export them when we're done. Now, I have some that I just scraped up for the keyword cars here. I removed duplicate domains, and um, we're gonna load them in and test it, see what happens. It's really easy and basic. You hit start, it's gonna go out there and it's going to find the social profile URLs. And once it's done, you can see status down here. We can export and that's it as an Excel spreadsheet. Now, what this option to crawl here is, is where you can put in a keyword. And if there is a link with that keyword as an anchor text, um, then it will crawl that page as well. So what I did was I loaded in pages I scraped, but let's say some pages might not want to put their social profile URLs on the home page um, or on whatever page you happen to be loaded. Maybe they only put it on the contact us page because you're going to contact them anyway. So they put the social profile URLs on there and maybe only on the about us page. So you can type in words that you want to look for. And it even says that right here, pages linked to by the following words will be prioritized to be scanned for social media profile links. And what it's gonna do is, let's look at some. So I have some of these popped up in a browser. We can see here um, that there's actually some social profile URLs on this page. And then here we have on the Nissan page, there is some social profile URLs and same thing on this one. But let's say that it's only on the contact us page and we're gonna to go to the contact page and then look for the actual URLs of the social profile. So I would put in maybe contact us or contact. This one has a review us page. It also has a contact page. So if we're gonna do contact, then we can see here, pretty basic. Um, and then there, over here, there's different things. So let's go back here and let's type in, oh, contact about, uh, and, and we'll leave it at that, make it simple. And we're gonna start it up and see if we find any more. And it looks like we found maybe a couple more just glancing at the columns, um, not a whole lot. But again, I just looked at that. If you are scraping a certain CMS um, or a particular industry or that sort of thing, and you find that the social profile URLs, you're not getting what you think you want or whatever, just load some of the pages in a browser, eyeball them, and look for those types of anchor text that you might have maybe your particular industry has uh, a review us and that's the page they put them on or whatever you get the point this is a theory concept you just look for those pages and then just put those words in here under the actual options and then Scrapebox will go and it will open those pages look for profile URLs and then come back to the page that you loaded in and look for profile URLs and then when you're done you can go contact them or advertise to them or whatever it is that you're going to do with the social profiles and so that is how the social account scraper works thanks for watching this Scrapebox video for more Scrapebox videos click the subscribe button on your screen or click the subscribe button down below